Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be. Welcome to my tutorial. Uh, today we're doing a tutorial on how to do a hair scrunchie. So for this, I'm just using any rubber band, which I feel comfortable using. You might have a different preference. I'm using paint box cotton iron thread, yarn even, uh, a three millimeter hook. I've got a stitch marker just in case I need it and some scissors to finish off my work at the end so we'll just start with tying a knot around our rubber band but I'm going to leave quite a bit of thread because I want to be able to secure my work at the end so you'll see so I'm just going to tie a very loose knot this is because we want the cub uh, rubber band to move around with ease without getting trapped so I'm just gonna tighten that a little bit and off we go so you will start your scrunchie with chaining three. So bring your, see what I did there? Uh, I'll show you again. So bring your thread around like so and chain three. And that's our third one. So from now, the tutorial is quite simple and straightforward. You are just going to make sure you hold this thread out by the way because we need that in the end so all you're going to do is just double crochet all the way around till your rubber band is covered with double crochets so I'll demonstrate a few and carry on myself pause the video and join you right at the end so just double crocheting my way around it's quite a quick project to do actually as well um, it'll roughly take me 17 minutes to do one and um, I also post these on my Instagram so if you don't follow me already my Instagram is rad.crochet so um, you're just going to carry on like so until you reach the end and I'll join you at the end So we are now coming to the end of our work uh, as I've left this thread out as you can see and I've done all my double crochets. I'm just going to add a few more and if you want you can start your project with single crochets. It's really up to you what you decide to do. This pattern is quite flexible which is the great thing about it. You can just improvise as long as you know the basics. And if you're not sure how to do a double crochet, please follow the tutorial I posted on how to do a magic loop because that gives details on how to do a double crochet as well. So I didn't really use a stitch marker, but if I had, I would have marked my work right at top of the third chain here because this is where we're going to slip stitch and join. So I'm quickly going to slip stitch and join my work right and for the first round really I just I think I did around 54 but the more scrunchier you want it the more uh, double crochets you'll add here the second round is quite simple really we're just going to do the same so first we'll start with chain three one two three and the first one will be a bit different but the rest are the same so what we'll essentially do is add um, three double crochets in each chain. So in this round, you'll see really see the scrunchy effect. So because I've done one chain here already, I'm just going to do another two double crochets in here to make it a total of three in this space. And from here on, I'm going to be doing three double crochets in each chain space. So I'll demonstrate a few first, then I'll pause the video and come back to you towards the end of our work where I'll show you how then to finish off and secure the work just to make sure the scrunchie doesn't come apart. So I've done three in that space. Next space I'll do three double crochets again. And like I said, um. You can do this in single crochets if you wanted or half double crochets. It's really up to you. And also, I feel like you can really 
just improvise with the colors you use as well. You can use, for example, blue for the first round, pink for the second round. And um, I think you'll have great fun making this. So also, if you use this video to make a scrunchie, please let me know if it was easy to follow. Uh, it will just give me feedback on what I should change, uh, how to improve my videos for the future. So, so far I've done three, six, nine, twelve. So one in each and you'll go all the way around. I'm just going to pause the video now and continue uh, when I'm nearly towards the end to show you progress. Hello everyone, welcome back. As you can see, we are um, nearly at the end of our scrunchie. So I've got two more chain spaces to go. So I'm just going to do my three double crochets in each and then I'll show you how to secure your scrunchie. Also, uh, if you create a scrunchie, just use the hashtag rad.crochet so I can see all your work. I love looking at everyone's work on Instagram, so I'd be very happy to see if... Uh, Adorable scrunchies were created after using this tutorial. So here's my last double crochet. And to finish, we're just going to slip stitch on the top of this chain here. So um, I'll just highlight it's this one here that I'm going to slip stitch in to end our work. So that's one slip stitch. And just to make sure I've secured my work properly. Um, I sometimes like to go through the stitches and slip stitch into them. So I've done one there and I'll just do one more. Right, now we're going to cut our thread. So we're just going to pull the thread through now and to secure it, what we're going to do is find the other end of it. And I'm just going to bring this thread back and forth till I reach around the th other thread. I'll show you why I'm doing this. Um, I like to secure all my work quite nicely so it doesn't come apart if it goes in the wash and so on. So, we're roughly nearly there. What I'm going to do is just use my darning needle now. So I've got this. I'm going to put this big thread through it until I reach that thread. I'm just going to weave it through. So what I'll do is I'll weave it through and come back to you. So I've just reached up to here and I'd just like to show you how I weave my thread in quickly as well. So it's pretty quick. And I'm going to go to the opposite side of where that thread is. So there's something in between. And what I like to do here is just tie a knot or two. Just to make sure my work will not come apart. And I think I've secured that pretty tightly. So I'm just going to cut off the extra bits. And of course, if you have a different way of weaving in, you could do that. I just like to weave it in and tie a knot. So also, if you just want to hide these ends, you can hide them through um, the little bits in here. But I'm not too fussed because this is a tutorial. So I'll just hide these quickly with my hook. like so also using this strategy you can make sure that your rubber band definitely won't come apart and also it's super stretchy and convenient so the more stitches you add the more flare it have it'll have and the less you add the less it'll have so i've done two just to demonstrate and i'm just gonna put it around my hand quickly and show off my little creation i'm very happy with these um, and make sure you tag me if you create these scrunchies and i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial 
and I hope you all subscribe and come back for more tutorials in the future. See you everyone and have a fantastic day.